Hi Aries, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot, it's Christina. Today we're going to be getting some messages for you. Let's just see what's going on in your energy and what your angels want you to know today. So the first thing I'm going to do is send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through your nose and out through your mouth. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, let's grab you some angel numbers. Let's see what uh, you know. Let's see what the numbers tell us today. All right, we have two, zero, five, seven. Two zero five seven is your number. I'm gonna put you on pause and write that down because, of course, I forgot my notebook. <laughs> It's never ending with this. I always forget. Okay, hang on. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's uh see what they want to tell us today. All right, let's go. We have King of Wands, Four of Swords, Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, and Nine of Wands. Okay, Aries, what's going on here? What happened? I might have to raise this camera. All right, so let's see. Well, you're the King of Wands, Aries. You're fiery and you're passionate. We know that. That's your nature. That's your, you know, you let you, uh, you're just passionate about things. You, you make, you make your, you know, dreams come true. You just go after what you want. Um, but you're in a little bit of a time out right now. And I feel like it's because you've been betrayed in some way, somehow. Because down here, you're the, you're the nine of, of wands, which is the wounded warrior. So something happened. Something, a truth came out. Because the queen of swords, she cuts through all the BS, right? So a truth came out somewhere. You found out the truth somehow. And it, it made you this wounded warrior. So you're, you put yourself in a little bit of a timeout. You're like looking for answers, trying to communicate with your angels, you know, trying to figure out what's your next move or what you should do. But the Eight of Wands here says that there's going to be some communication back and forth between you and somebody else. Could be somebody new or it could be somebody that you're talking to about this truth. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. It kind of feels like a relationship. It kind of feels like um kind of feels like somebody cheated, but I'm not sure. I don't know. There somebody did you wrong in some way, shape or form. And I don't know. We'll just get some more cards and we'll figure it out. All right? If I could get these uh somewhat <laughs> straight for you to see. Oh. Whatever, I'm, I'm going to have to make more room anyway, so. They're going to get crooked again, because that's just... Whatever. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. The High Priestess. The Emperor. And Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is saying that you are independent you know, taking care of yourself, making your money, getting ready to, um, you know, collect the harvest because you work hard and, and, uh, you take care of things. You're the, you're the king of wands. So it makes perfect sense, but you might be feeling a little bit lonely right now. And I feel it's because something happened. Now you have the high priestess, which is under the four of swords card. The High Priestess is saying that you're trying to use your intuition to figure out what to do, how to move on from this, how to get out of this Nine of Wands energy, this Wounded Warrior energy, right? You're looking for answers, but I really do feel like your angels and guides are, are guiding you. You might not understand or hear them, but they are giving you little hints or thoughts I mean, there, there's things that you're thinking of that you might not be moving on because you're in this time out, but they are guiding you. So 
you know, they want you to get back into emperor mode. Okay. The emperor is pure alpha male energy, right? Whether we're female or, or male, doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter in tarot. Okay. We all have both male and female energy inside of us. So this, they want you to get back to this alpha male. Like you're the king of wands. So make your dreams come true. Like go after what you want. Like stop, stop being this wounded warrior. All right. They want you to know that life can be better. You just have to take the steps to get there. Right. So yeah, whatever happened, left you feeling out in the cold, left you feeling sad, alone, maybe unloved, or maybe there was a financial loss, you know, maybe there was a business betrayal somehow, some way, maybe you lost a job or something, so you're trying to, you know, you've taken the time to figure out what to do, but, you know, you're definitely feeling left out and alone right now, but they don't want you to do that. They want you to you know, become the emperor again. All right. We went through this. It sucks, but let's get moving now. Let's start making life better for us. Right. And I really do feel like they're guiding you. They're giving you ideas and you're just not acting on them yet. But I feel like you will. I feel like, I definitely feel like you will. So let's see what else we get. Seeking and finding. Yeah, you're searching for... Yeah, you can't see this. I wish my little arms would reach... I thought I always thought I had long arms, but I don't. <laughs> Not for this. Okay. It's a little bit better. Um, but anyway, you're seeking, you're seeking for answers. That's why you're in a timeout. That's why you're using your intuition here. Right? But you're going to be finding them. Okay, you're seeking and they're going to give them to you. The answers are coming. They are. So just kind of listen to your thoughts, right? Listen to your instincts. Pay attention to your dreams because the answers are coming to you. All right, your next card is, oh, listen to your heart. (laughs) This must be a love situation. This must be somebody betrayed you in love. And guess what? They want you to listen to your heart, follow your bliss. It doesn't have to be a love situation. It could be, it could be a career situation here. Listen to your heart, do what makes you happy, right? Follow your bliss. They want you to tune in, awaken your psychic abilities. Again, they want you to be this high priestess. Go in and listen to your higher self. Your higher self is communicating. Your higher self knows what you want. Your higher self knows what's going to make you happy. So you have to listen. So let your heart lead you. Where's your Where's your heart leading you? I'm picking up that your heart might be leading you someplace that you might be a little afraid to make that move. I feel a little bit of hesitancy because you might not know how it's going to turn out. But guess what? We never really know how it's going to turn out because... This world is not really in our control. Control is an illusion. (laughs) Source and spirit and the angels and the guides, they all have the control. We don't. (laughs) We really don't. We think, we might think we do, but we don't. We can't control any outcomes, right? There's so many different factors that play into the outcomes of our, our, any of our moves. So we can't control the outcome. So don't be afraid. Okay, so if there's something that they're guiding you to do, I feel like, I really feel like you need to take the steps to do it. Even if it's reaching out to a person that you haven't, you know, talked to or you don't know how you will be received, I feel like they're telling you to do it. I don't know. Let's get some more cards because I feel like this story is developing and and I'm getting a love story in my head, but it could be business. I, I don't want to discount that. It could be career. It could be, you know, any type of situation. It really, 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 really could. But for some reason, I'm getting like a love situation here. Green Tara. Oh, Green Tara. That's a really great energy who's here helping you. She was a, 
she takes many forms. She's like green, she's white, she's red. So every time she comes to you in spirit in a, in a color, it means a different thing. So green Tara means that <laughs> you are being nudged to get moving, <laughs> to do what it is your soul compels you to do. Like don't sit with an idea or project any longer. Take action on it, you know. Don't think about a friend who keeps coming into your heart. You know, go go bring them dark chocolate <laughs> or yellow rose or send them a, like a love note, you know, like a, a, a text. I don't know. Like it's time for action. That's what she's telling you. Like, and it's not about, you know, being grandiose or anything like that. It's not about like, you know, spending money or anything. It's a it's about the amount of love that you that you put into it that matters, right? So that's so funny. Um, <laughs> I like dark chocolate and I like yellow roses. So <laughs> that's why I said that. But um, it's funny, you know. It's really funny. So they, she's here just to say, you know. We're guiding you. We're telling you there's there's somebody you're thinking about. And I, I really do feel like it's love. There's somebody you're thinking about. Just take the chance. Take the leap. Like reach out. There's communication up there, Aries. And I really feel like it's you that's going to have to make this communication. You're the one who's going to have to reach out. Because you're the one who's thinking about this person. Or this situation. Could be a situation like... There could be a job that you really want and, and, uh, you know, you know, somebody in that field, but you don't want to call up asking for a favor and they're saying, do it. You know, they're, they're not, if that thought is in your head, then it's there for a reason. They put it there. So they want you to get, they want you to take action on it. Oh, Aries, I'm excited for you because this is an exciting time. I know you've been hurt. Um, you're the wounded warrior right now. So like, I know I'm not excited for that part of you, but I'm excited for what's coming because it looks like it's going to be amazing. All right, let's get some more. Let's get a, let's get these little cards here. Hang on. <sighs> Leadership. Set your goals. Okay, what is it that you want? Listen to your heart, right? What is your heart telling you? Your heart's telling you what's going to make you happy. What is it? You know, just picture in your mind the most perfect outcome, right? And then believe that you can have that outcome. So if you are looking for love, picture the person that you want in your life and picture them being very happy to hear from you and then picture them falling in love and you guys having this amazing relationship. Picture that right? Set your goals. What is it that you want? What's your heart want? Picture it and believe in it. Because when you do, that's when it manifests for us. Be bold and make the first move. Oh, it definitely feels like love. Make the first move, Aries. You can do it. Come on. You're the emperor. You're the king of wands. You got a lot of passion inside of you. You can do it. All right, let's get a romance card. <sighs> Past life. Okay, so the person you're thinking of is somebody that you've known in the past. Um, this card means past life. So it's, it's like a soulmate of sorts, somebody that you've worked with in other lives, somebody that you've known, and this coming together will be... Um, you know, like a reconciliation, like a, a a new beginning for you. I do kind of feel like you you know who this person is in this life, though. I feel like you might you might not have had a relationship with this person, but I feel like you know who they are. You at least know them or know of them. I really do feel like you're thinking about one particular person. And it is somebody that you've had a past life with. So guess what? That's more of a confirmation that it's more likely to work. Because if your soul recognizes them, their soul is going to recognize you. 
Aries. This is going to be amazing. All right, let's get an Archangel Michael card to finish this up and see what he wants to tell us. Prayer will help the situation. <laughs> yeah, put it out there. You know, why not? Um, you never know that, you know, maybe that person is the high priestess and they'll be able to hear your higher self call out for them. So put that prayer out there. And I'm going to read it. It says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, I ask you for divine intervention. I welcome your help and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and ask that you send one to me. And this is situation quickly thank you and amen so okay so this might me might feel like you need a miracle right now like you might feel like you know it'll be a miracle if this person even remembers you or you know like or recognizes you or you know has as you know is open and receptive to you so you might feel like you need a, that miracle but believe in it miracles really do do happen and they happen every day then they might not be these grandiose you know bring people back from the dead type of miracles but they do happen and you have to believe in them um because they're real and when you do they happen to you <laughs> oh aries I'm, I'm really kind of excited for you all right let's grab some charms Okay, so pocketbook. You got the pocketbook. Um, for me, that usually means um, something to do with your money. Um, you know, there is five of, five of pentacles here, so you might feel like you're losing money somehow. So kind of just watch your spending. Um, you know, don't hold on to it too tightly, but but don't be frivolous either. Like, Don't go to the casinos and start gambling. Like, now's not the time for that, Okay. Um, let's, let's keep you on budget for now. Okay. There's, you got lots of love here and look at this. You've got my soulmate heart. So this means, look, you have a soulmate coming in for you. You're going to either be working with a soulmate or you're going to be bringing a soulmate back into your life for love, for romance. This is absolutely confirmation on this card. You have known this person before. Your souls are going to recognize each other. And they're going to be open and receptive to you. <gasps> Again, my soulmate. Another soulmate charm. Look, the double hearts. There's definitely going to be love between you. Like, deep soul love. Like, it's beautiful. I'm tearing up. <laughs> I'm tearing up because I'm so happy for you. But also, that's my confirmation. Those of you who have been with me know that I cry. They Instead of getting chills, they give me tears, which is really terrible because my nose gets red and I'm a terrible crier, but <laughs> I would love a different sign, but they're like, nope, this is your sign. I've asked them to change it and they don't because they like, they know that I know for sure a hundred percent that what I'm speaking is the truth when my eyes tear up. Anyway, enough about me. You got the anchor. So I feel like this, this connection is going to be very grounding, right? And it's going to be, it's going to be solid. Like it's not going to move. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be beautiful. You got, <laughs> you got the lock. Somebody's going to unlock your heart. Somebody's going to unlock your heart or you're going to unlock theirs. You are being supported and loved by your angels. That's my support ribbon, right? They are sending you messages. This is my hummingbird charm. My hummingbird charm to me means that uh, for me, it's, it's messages from heaven. So they're sending them to you. You need to pay attention. So whether you're seeing synchronized numbers like 1111, 222, or you're getting, you're seeing feathers or finding pennies, there's some kind of messages that you're getting. They're guiding you and they're saying you're on the right track. Keep going keep going it's okay everything negative that happens to us happens us so that we get to where we really want to be and what we really need and what our soul needs it's a lesson so you whatever horrible thing that you went through with the wound 
wounded warrior energy. You're coming through it now and now something amazing's happening. So go with it, right? Take those steps because you got the candy as your final charm and that's a sweet reward. You're going to be ah uh, so happy. Aries, I'm I'm looking forward to this for you. Um you know, let me know when it happens in the comments because I'd love to hear. I'm so excited for you. But that's all I have for you. So until next time, love and light.